But Ryan Soto is in a rush. He's trying to make a delivery for Amazon. If I don't deliver it by that time, um, I basically get uh, like a hit on my account saying that I delivered it late. Three late deliveries in a week, and Soto says he can lose his job. The time may not be his only threat. Governor Doug Ducey signed legislation this week clearing the way for robots like these operating in California to start delivering packages and food. And it can take over my job from what I'm doing because I mean a robot but can do anything basically nowadays. Yeah. The autonomous machines will have weight and speed restrictions and be required to carry insurance. But not everyone likes the idea. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, yeah. but um, there's going to be consequences that go along with having robots deliver packages. It kind of freaks me out a bit, to be honest. Uh, I don't really like the idea of uh, robots just yet. Now, this bill doesn't go into effect until August, but that does not mean you'll see robots rolling down these sidewalks the next day to deliver packages or your lunch. I'm not opposed to it. I like robots. I like technology. Grace Clark might have to wait a couple of years before the service robots hit the streets as they still have to be tested. It depends on who's programming the robots, right? Like it always comes down to the software, what kind of safety protocols they have. You don't just want to replace humans with robots willy nilly. You need to be responsible about how you program them. And delivery drivers like Soto hope that programming doesn't leave them holding the bag. Dennis Welch for Arizona's family.